Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. I am. It's thank. Let me say from the bottom of my heart, thank you, everybody who has wished me a happy birthday. My cell phone has been blowing up with text messages, with notifications from Facebook, uh, YouTube, and everything else. I appreciate appreciate it. I'm literally overwhelmed. And so I'm trying to, or at some time this evening, I'll go back to all the text messages and Facebook and tell everybody, thank you very much for all the well wishes that I appreciate it so much. And, um, if I miss you, I apologize. I'm trying to do everything that I can. Um, I'm going to go take a shower. Cause I'm going to go down to uh, our favorite restaurant here uh, in town and have something to eat. And then I'm going to come back and do some more work here on the red brick house. Cause that's what I do. I can't think of a better way to spend my birthday than doing work on something that I enjoy doing. And um, every day this place takes another step. So I want to talk for a few minutes here about the Texas burnt toast offense. Um, you know what this reminds me of? Mike Nolan. Mike Nolan, when he was talking about the defense, we're a 4-3. We're a 3-4. We're a hybrid defense. We're going to match up with all kinds of stuff. We're going to be this, that, and the other. And it was all kinds of hype for the, te for the hybrid 4-3-3-4. And it was a disaster. Now, I'm hoping and praying that the Texas burnt toast offense isn't going to be horrendous the whole year. But unfortunately, you have to look at this now and say, right now, it's not looking real good. It's not looking real good at all because we were doing things a hell of a lot better than what we were doing last year. I'm sorry. We were doing things a hell of a lot better last year than we are right now. Um, we ended up thinking that we improved, and it seems like, well, we improve the personnel, but the results are worse. Um, I'm sitting here thinking about us getting Brandon Cooks. Was getting Brandon Cooks? Has Brandon Cooks all of a sudden just gotten old from last year to this year? Um, because he's got like 77 yards. He's got like 77 yards. Um, let me... Let's see if I can pull up the stats on the players um, because it, it's it's really atrocious right now because I don't know what we're doing. It seems like there's no rhyme or reason to what we're doing. And as I pull it up, okay, so some of these numbers can be a little bit skewed. Now, points uh, – for the t for her game, we're ranked eighth. Well, you know, we also got three touchdowns from our defense and special teams. So that kind of helps. Yards, we're 17th. Passing, we're 18th in attempts, 20th in yards, 19th in TDs. Running the football, we've been six in, in attempts. Per rush, we're 10th. So we have digressed completely. And as we start looking at the players, Tony Pollard is averaging 4.2 yards a carry, 68 yards a game. Rico Daddle, 3.8 yards, 19 yards a game. And then as we go down into receiving, C.D. Lamb is only averaging 62.9 yards a game. Brandon Cooks, 42. I'm sorry, it's success rate. Excuse me, excuse me. Yards per game. Um, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Total yards, C.D. Lamb's got 358. Brandon Cooks got 73. Peyton Hendershot's got three. Jake Ferguson is your second leading, uh, is, is 175. And Michael Gallup's 180. We aren't getting the ball downfield. 
and we start thinking about yards per attempt, yard average, we're only averaging 6.6 yards a pass. And as we look at the yards right now, we're 18th in passing yards per game. That ain't good, bro. And so we have to start looking at this and first of all saying, what is our identity? Because I don't know what our identity is. Mike McCarthy says, I want to run the football, even though the NFL right now is eh, ain't worried about running. They ain't paying running backs. Running the football is the least of thing that we do. It's about passing the football. And I have to say, my quarterback, Dak Prescott, right now looks completely uncomfortable with the system. And I dare say that Dak Prescott, in the preseason game that he was calling plays, that the plays he was calling were better than what Mike McCarthy was calling. So I'm just trying to figure out, and I'm asking for a friend, what the hell is going on with this offense? And can Mike McCarthy make some changes and get a little more creative because it don't look like an NFL offense. And I'm hoping and praying that this isn't as good as it gets because if this is as good as it gets, we in some deep kimchi here because we need these guys to be able to score some points. Now, granted, granted, we were playing San Francisco, okay? San Francisco, and people seem to think that, you know, um, that San Francisco is ass ass for some reason, and that everybody's beating San Francisco. Ain't nobody beating San Francisco, okay? San Francisco's kicking everybody's ass, okay? They're averaging 30 points a game. They're the NFL scoring. Look, okay, look. Offense, scoring offense. They're number two. They're number two. Yardage, they're number three. So it's not just the Cowboys that are having problems. And their defense, scoring defense, they're number one. Yardage defense, number three. So granted, the Cowboys offense was going against the best in the business right now. So you understand that that's part of the reason why we weren't as successful as we would like. However, if we turn this thing around and get in the playoffs, you may have to face those guys again. So Mike McCarthy, and I've said this a couple of times now, if the Cowboys coming out looking like ass ass again and lose poorly to Kellen Moore and the Chargers, going into a bye week, I think they fire Mike McCarthy. I think Jerry Jones will get into his feelings and say, you want to move? You want some blood? Let's go. All right. For Eagle fans, you know how much I love you. Fuck them birds. Fly, Eagles, fly. Now nah, we shoot those birds out of the sky. Stupid dumbasses managed to give up a third and 30 to my sexy arm. Pathetic defense and team. No wonder I own those piece of shit frauds every damn year. Don't get me started on the fans. You boo me while I earned a respected award. Losing the Super Bowl was just karma for you fuckheads. I can't wait to drop 100 on your heads next season while being the daddy of the NFC East again. 